What's up guys? So just got into the shop, gonna hit up a video real quick, get back to the uh, flipping series. As you can see behind me, I got this uh, rough around the edges Jeep Grand Cherokee. Just wanna give you a run around on it, catch you guys up where we're at with it. <clears throat> Show you what's going on with this one. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. guys now that I'm soaked run through this one 96 Jeep Grand Cherokee uh, actually had this one for a while uh, real good buddy of mine dropped it off I'm gonna go through it you know it's uh, you know it's not gonna be like one of the super big payout ones or you know anything fancy or anything I'm gonna put any kind of time in for that matter but you get the few in between ones you know you get the uh, you know, throw them together, get them running, decent, you know, half road worthy, sell them as mechanic specials for, you know, a return in your investment, you know. So, I mean, this one probably just getting it to where it is now, I probably got too much into it, had to do a fuel pump, uh, oil pressure switch, battery. I got a uh, power steering pump I want to do, this thing's leaking, but I'm not going to go much after that. I already got a guy on the hook for it. He has a Jeep already and he's looking to, uh, upgrade it he's actually going two years older but this one is in better shape than the one he's currently driving but you guys got to check this one out and then on to the inside we got a little bit of roughness everywhere the headliner definitely seen better days got a huge stain in it and it's got staples all in it he must have got his parts from office max fixed the headliner you can see and then this seat you can see, I mean, somebody, uh, some MacGyver mechanic went to town on that. I mean, this thing doesn't even look like it's bolted down. Um, hoping it's just a track that broke, but I mean, you could see some pegboard under there. You got all types of string and shoelace. I think I see a purse strap back here. There's a cutting board down here. You guys could see a cutting board holding this seat together. So we got to figure out that the guy that's actually interested in this, he wants to take his leather interior out and put it in there. So that might be an option. This thing's got a few miles on it. Say 160, 168, 478. I believe the radio does work. This thing does run and drive. Looks like. The compass still works, no interior lights, but definitely need some uh, TLC, but we're not going to be going nuts on this thing. I mean, everywhere I look, there's either something missing, a panel missing, or ripped, or dirty, or broken, but yeah, not going to be doing too much to this one. It's got the, uh, he's got... Over on this side, he's got dry raw screws. Oh, that's some other type of screw there. Holding in the cladding and the bumpers. Got some real good damage back here. And then up front here, another screw. Screw there, dry raw screw. These doors, close this light. These doors, something damaged here. It looks like it took a hit down in there and then the cladding covers it up. So these doors open up all wonky, but they do open. You can see more of it back here. So, <laughs> you know, not gonna be asking too much. Here's some more of his handiwork here. And then he looks like he's got some extra trim up here probably to stop it from leaking because it doesn't shut straight. 
So yeah, this one, needless to say, obviously I don't have much money into this one, but you know, it still it is a good runner. It's still a Jeep, it still will sell. Someone out there needs it. You know, I'm not gonna be asking a whole lot for it. I'm not gonna even be spending a hot, whole lot more time on it. This one I'm pretty much maxed out after that power steering pump. We're gonna go ahead and just flip this as a mechanic special, see what we can get out of it. But wanted to give you guys a quick show at it. The door doesn't even shut right. All right guys, so that's this one. This is gonna be the next one. You know, we'll call it our mechanic special. Luckily, like I said, I got someone interested in it. But you know, get this power steering pump put on there. Get him down here. We're gonna switch out his tires and rims. We're gonna switch out his interior. You know, they're not all gonna be a home run. You know, obviously the money I got in it, obviously I'm gonna get a return on. You gotta make some money. But uh, you know, it's it's not all fancy. So you guys out there looking for flips, you know, buy that one two hundred dollar car, toss a couple bucks at it, and then just flip it for more than what you got into it, and then just work your way up, steady work your way up, fast cash, quick cash. This thing ain't nothing fancy. It'll get the guy to work. The motor and trans is strong. It's a Jeep, so you know he might be able to drive it for a bit and sell it, get his money back out of it to the next guy that may need parts off of it. But figure I'd show you this one. You know, it's not all uh, it's not all pretty. This this <laughs> this uh, doing this stuff. It ain't all fun and games. It's not all just glamorous stuff. You know, there's the rough ones that we got to deal with too. So I've dealt with some rough ones, but this one. I mean, sh you know, drywall screws and the cladding. I mean, come on, you know, Hide hiding the dent in it. The door's barely shut. I mean, they do shut, but it it's rough. So I gotta get that seat fixed, get the power steering pump put on there, get his stuff flipped out on it. This'll be a quick next one, and we'll move on to the next one. Just wanted to show you guys this. Like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.